guys, test two Pierre. Welcome to another Stanley Cup playoffs. And right now we are in the second chain of the story as we are getting things right underway here. Right now, it's the second day of game five of the Stanley Cup playoffs. This game is about to be happened here with a great win of the Leafs. They are coming back strong with a 3-2 game winner. They try to put it in the game. But as of right now, we're waiting on to see if the next play comes in towards the towards the next goal between the Leafs and the Bolts to win the game or tie the series up. And then the rally at this point on the other side of a hand will be a tough one to clear out to find out who will it be. Next matchup is the first start. The Penguins and the Bruins back at TD Garden Arena. Right now, standing by alongside with a crew, we have his fan on the side of ice and me fan along with Life Ray. Now, time to get you into the game and get started. I'll be back with the post game show. Guys, enjoy your next game. All for you, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to TD Garden. I'm me fan along with Life Ray, and this is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. It's about that time. Win or go home for Pittsburgh. And the puck is about to drop and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as followed. We have across is Pat Bergeron. Across on the right side of the angle we have is DeBrusk. Racing towards the other side we have is Brad Marchand. Right around here is McAvoy. And in the center of it is Orlov. The center of the ice here for the goaltender starting my lineup we have is Lita Salma. Score! First goal goes to DeBrusque as it deflected right toward the net around Jolly and in. This is a fast break out there. They're saving a lot of it and you know that deflection was right in it. You could tell that McAvoy was in there and just the right timing it makes, just a good one to try to pull it right from the ticket of it. They're just doing a lot of hard out there, me fun. They're doing really well. Thanks to DeBrus, he's got a first goal in the in a playoffs, now has number six. DeBrus right toward across to Marchand. Marchand right toward the outside, over to Orlov. Now McAvoy has it out front. That Bergeron towards the wing. Shoots in front of that. Stopped by Jari. And you know that Jari was able to make that save out of him. That play was just a very that hard to maintain and make that successful in the range. It, it just very happens to be most players at the same time, not just only one. On the other hand, right now we have a Cindy Crosby. Going right toward the Kutzet cell. Linus Omar with the pat stop. Latane towards the wing. Now back over to Crosby. And Crosby shot stop made by Orlov. Orlov to Krejci. He fires the puck over to Zacha. Now swings over across the other side now. Kicks the puck over again to McAvoy. McAvoy swings to Orla. Now finds Krejci. Krejci swing it over again to Orlov and now swings over to McAvoy. Keeps the puck alive. Krejci shot. That goes off of Zacha's, Zacha's blade and it goes right toward the net to the wall. Which that's now to Crosby. Pittsburgh's got their own end into the offensive territory for the Bruins. Now towards the right wing is the mullet. Up to Sucker. Stopped by Elena Solmar. And you know, he was definitely one of the great players here for the goaltender for tonight. He was a better star. The better player is just a very not hard to maintain it from the stop. I can say that Linus Allmark, he should be the most players of this goal because he was a fantastic save and he deserves it. Malkin right toward the middle. Right over to West. Stopped by Linus Allmark. Now McAvoy will try to cover the puck with a loose puck chain. Gives a push over to Frederick. Pass over to Coyle, now swings over again to 15 minutes to go. Lindholm has the puck outside. Waits around a man and Zucker has one. Gimelin has it right around for the wing and now swings to Rust. He moves it quickly over to Malkin. Malkin toward the wing. That goes off the stick and it's stopped made by the goaltender. The Bruins carry their offense zone in the Penguins territory. Greer right toward the wing. Lindholm trying to sweep it around a bit to put a backhand that's rejected and goes out of, and goes offside. 
shot off wide, excuse me. Lindholm tried towards the offensive range. Now he will have some time to try to think of it ahead. Here's Lindholm. And Hathaway went too quick. He inquires offside and will now stop the play inbound. Now the play is ready to take the faceoff in the neutral faceoff zone. Bruins have the start of a 1-0 lead in that early game of the period. Patterson right to Grenland. Goes into the middle and rejected away here by Linus Olmark. They say that Linus Olmark was able to try to pull it up for the save. You know what I'm thinking? Because that was a very that tough one to try to seek it out. The revenge out there. Nothing but you can tell. Because after the last game, Linus Olmark definitely got a great pressure to try to make a stop out of it. He was very well to take the game out of it in the range. They've really showed him a lot of respect. They give it off to a great run. Jari's going to hold the puck here with only 12.30 left to go in the first period. But the call, here's fan for make it snappy. Brad Marchand is making his own part of the game and made that one into a better saving of this game. He makes it snappy with the player placed in this game. When his shot comes in right towards around the offensive goals and in between the lineups, he can try to reach in front of the, uh, the backhander shot and try to roll in for this game. This is a hard matchup to take over for Brad Merchant to try to break it up and go with a slap shot. I'll be keeping an eye on here for the next part of the game. This hard one won't be that long. Back to you, Mifon. Bergeron wins the faceoff. Forward right over again to Clifton. Now here's the Brusk. Boston along the way into the Penguins territory now finds Merchant. Merchant swings to DeBrusque. Now finds McAvoy. Decided to reset here and now he all mans are in his zones. Merchant right towards the way. Shoots! Fires across and it goes off again on Jari. Orloff's got it now right towards the wing. DeBrusque right towards the wing on the outside. Inside his own. That's out of reach. Battery tries to stop the play. Recovering the puck is in it. On a one-on-one -on -one attack, move shot, stopped by Omar. 10 for left to go in the first period, and this one comes to be a tough one to go. With the call in between, Sidney Crosby has a lot of a beauty backhand shot releasing the saving of his game. His moment was trying to keep him right around the goalie, and when he has that backhand shot, he goes with a beauty. David Pasternak is really putting up with a snipe shot. His ranging motion is a very hard one to maintain is from his goal. The lineup is very to interest and try to pull up with the snipe shot of the game. These two are very tough. I'll be watching one of the two and try to keep an eye on David Pashnax and Sidney Crosby. Guys? Lindholm towards the outside. That stopped by Jory. And Jory had it all down there. They, they're seemingly like they're just really keeping it going. Out there for longer, it just really has to stay the tough ones out. Bruchette's now, and no time to stop, and that is Olmark with the save. Crazy towards the outfender, now to Pasternak. He fires the puck right to Bertuzzi. That's out of reach. Carlos got it now towards the corner. Sidney Crosby's got the puck right to Kolokov. Kolokov swings to Crosby. Stopping the play inbound, Pasternak got it. 8.30 left to play, passing the midway period. Coil gets out of the way. And pass the forward, goes out. Crosby trying to take the attackers on the loose. Middle chain. Frederick comes up with a, with a poke check. Now he's in the middle, right towards the offense zone. Trying to take the pass to Coil. That pass gets broken up, and now it's Russ with the puck. Pokes it away. Now finds Clifton. He sways the coil. Now in the offense zone to pick up the attack. The rush on the player right towards the halfway. Halfway in the middle. Too close to call, and it's now been rejected out as Kolokov has it. Seven minutes to go in the first period. It is a 1 0 lead for the Bruins. Greer trying to reach him out. Forward has it now in a wing. Shoots one. Glove saved by Jory will hold the puck with eight. 6.38 to go. The players are ready to take him bounding on the offense zone. 
It is a 1-0 lead for the Boston Bruins, and now they're getting another face-off to get ready to the attack it. Now DeMullen has a puck, finds the Archibald. O'Connor right towards the wing. In the Bruins' territory, Archibald, stop made by Omar. We'll hold the puck here with only 618, and right now the face-off's coming up. The battle play for Linus Allmark. An X-ray shows him how he was really picking up his pace. Before the player in the offense, he tries to make a great save out of him with a good deflection to try to put a wild save. Easy than a saving call here for Hallebuck, right on the other end. It's a hard one to maintain it, and when you know when Linus Allmark comes in with the right, right around the puck, he gives it off to another player in advantage. The score is a tough one to maintain its runness. I'll be keeping eyes here on Linus Allmark to make another wild save. Back to you guys. Halfway, in the middle. He tries to go right over to Olaf. Back, back and forth to McAvoy. McAvoy swings ahead and it's deflected off of Jory. Jory was able to move out of here. I mean, this was very a cluff and clarifying. Olaf, towards the shot. It's blocked by Demolin. That player fell right in the defenseman out there. You know that Demolin was able to take a block shot of it. It's very a tough. Be honest out there. They're really showing it what they can. Archibald toward the middle in and side of shot, and it's stopped again by the goaltender. Marchand's got it now. Try to move it around again. Try to go right towards the bat, and he says, nope, I'm going to reset it, and that's a good play. Orloff swings off to McAvoy. Misjudgment to Mar Marchand. That goes behind the net. Peanut's got the puck. Now into the Bruins' territory to pick up the ride. And pull a stop by Linus Allmark. He shuts him down with the offense, and this one's a tough one to carry. Now both players are set, ready to take the face off. The score still sits on one nothing over the Penguins. Now the win, Latang! And it goes off again, corner! And lost the puck here, and now Bertuzzi. Roll the puck right towards the offense zone and pick up the run. Bertuzzi right around the back. Ross swings to Frederick. Frederick on the shot. Stopping me here by Jari. Jari saving that one big. He's really on the runs. Trying to pull it up here for the big save. Back to Lindholm on the outside. Shoots and shot blocked. Deflected right towards the mall and has the puck in cover. Oh, check away. And Coyle has one. Carla towards the right around back to Coyle. Fans, Branch, and let's go Bruins, and this one's a stop made by Jari. Now Carlo has it out. Forbert on the outside of the range in the middle. Bertuzzi waves over to Carlo. Carlo on the shot, rebound in front, stopped by another save by Jari. Bertuzzi towards the outside, waves in front, trying to carry it, and Jari says, not this time, is saying that. Every time it's like a it's like a it's like a whack-a-mole that's trying to like capture the puck. That play in this game was a very tremendous one. Even the Gophers can try to take over with the golf balls. That's that's just definitely how it describes it from taking the puck and trying to snatch it. That's a better play to make that one. Interesting run. Raquel over to Pedersen. We're down to a final minute of play in the first period of the game, and they are the tough ones to watch the play and have fun. Here's Petri, right toward the outside, in the middle! And stopped made by Omar. Zatchov's got it now, towards the Kredgy. He will carry out the wing. Now it calls for Kredgy to regroup the puck. No icing is whistled down, and they still have it up. Clifton, towards Ferber. All back to Clifton. Good to shot! That goes wide off to the range. And pass. Broke it up! Crunchy will try to take it from here. Fire in a puck along the board. And that will do for the first period. A great early score deflection in for DeBrooks. And got one nothing lead. Stay tuned for the second period. Second period about to begin here at TV Garden Arena. It is a one nothing for Boston Bruins. Now they have the win. DeMullen has it across to Gujitsa. Which that's now. Move around a weave lane and Omar got it right away. Then receiving in the pass was very that broken. 
but don't be surprised if you see one. And a great save made by Omar. Good to sell! Oh, Omar save! The bus swings up across to Bergeron. Here's Bergeron towards the wing on the outside of the range. Try to pull the fast break into Ola. Shoots up in the middle. That's Troy with a stop. We'll hold the play with 19 minutes. Just one minute to pull the play inbound. And if you're tuning in for the in animation, in animation epic of the an anime Sanity Invitational exit interview, the next one will be up or underway as right now Paintbrush is coming soon right on exit interview. And don't forget the tickets are on now before they're gone and sold out. There won't be any available spots here, so make your choice now before they're gone. That will be happening here on Sunday, June 25th and Saturday, July 8th here at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. Sabin Theater still got some uh, saving seats left to play to have the advantage, but if there's a lot of choices in between, it's all for you. Go to head on down to inanimeinsanity.com slash tickets and you can be the next one in. No penalty call here on Boston. Now back to Kretsch. Kretsch to Zacha. We'll fire the puck right toward the wall. Icing is whistled on Boston, and now Pittsburgh will carry off with the faceoff. Now the both teams are ready to take the lineups. The score right now, and the other hand comes in handy. It is a 1 0 lead. Now here's Petri. Block the shot! Great stop by Zacha! Zacha, are you serious? Because that is a tremendous defensive play. I say that he won. After Sabi comes up for Tristan Jury, right now the faceoff is ready to come in towards the next spot. All chain for Let's Go Bruins. Here's Petri with the puck after a faceoff win. Slides it right over to Zucker. He gets poked up. Great stop play. And you know that's a play coming down in a wild defenseman run because they were really on a better advantage to try to take over with the run. Bruins are a very tough one to be at like a Bears. And pull a slam down. Right now it goes back to Bertuzzi over to Carlo. Now swings to Lindholm. Now Carlo on the outside. Trying to move in front. Reach across at Jerry Stop. Bertuzzi reach over to Coyle. Coyle with the shot. That goes stick handled by Jari as he makes another stop. Penguins are in the offense zone to try to pick up the run. New line changes for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now Coyle has one. Gives it off to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi over to Lindholm. Swings to Carlo. Shot. Try to deflect one in there. It gets deflected right towards the wall. Now back to Lindholm. Right over again. Carter takes the puck and now he has it out. Here's another new changeup. And block the shot. What a play. The new line change, we have his march in. And Carla will swing it up from here, and a delay penalty call on Pittsburgh. They will get the power play ready for the Bruins. That's better out of here. You know you can't do that, because this was very that tough to say that whenever Hannon was taking a slash, he was going to try to, like, sweep it out of here, try to go for the win. But you can't. You can't do that, because now they're getting away with it. Now the power plays on for the Boston Bruins, and now this one goes for a changeoff score to put an extension run. Here's the Mullen, will fling the puck out of the net, and McAvoy will have it cleared up. New lineup change here for the offense zone to try to pick up the run. Regrouping the puck is McAvoy. Now swings it to Bruss. He goes around the round the board, right over to Merchant. Merchant on the outside, McAvoy's at the outside too. Gets pushed up. Great play, and now it's offside. Now they're ready to do the offense to do it again. This score now is still 1-0 in the first se second period. Battery will try to deliver it out. Bastianox will carry out from the outside. The range towards the DeBrusque. DeBrusque. They're going to slam out of it, but still hangs on. Puck that tight. Really can't help that. And gets a little denied off of here. McAvoy will try to swing it across. And Pasternox will try to reach across to Marchand. Marchand in the middle. On the outside of range. McAvoy shoots it from outside. That's stopped again by Jory. 
He fires the puck now, goes out of here. Oshinox will carry it along in behind the net. 20 seconds left to play in a power play, and now the time is running out. They gotta start doing something quick. The Mullen has one. Looks like Katie's ready to get out there and fight. And the power play's over for the Boston Bruins. They come up empty short-handed, and they are the tough ones to try to pick up and bound. Yeah, easier to say because this was very that tough. You know that Hayden was able to try to like take a slash out of the car, but you can't just release it. And they will get a rejection in, and it goes with the Brooks. Second goal of the night. All you say that the Brusk has one, they just say that you want to keep it in there for good. Easier to call because that was in there. Great reach on the pokey. And Jari has a lot of it to try to like go with the shock and awe moment. An awesome play here for Pasternak, and he, now he has that one, a great shot. All those come down here was another huge save, and he now the Brusk has a second goal. He's looking for his hat trick goal in the, third, in the fifth game of the night, because this is a hard one to maintain. I'll be keeping an eye on here for the next part, as right now the Brusk, he's doing really well in this game. Back to you guys. Now in the face-off zone, into the Bruins territory. Now it's turning out to be another extensive run, a 2 nothing lead. Here's Friedman, gets blocked up in front of it, and now Breeder has it across right toward the wing. Chips it over to Halfaway. Halfaway swings to Carlo, out to Lindholm. Lindholm swings to Carlo, gets pushed out, but not this time. Nozak, right in the middle, Jari with the glove save. We'll stop the play and bounding with only 10.55 to go in the third, second period. And now the faceoff is on. If you're tuning us for the next game, we've got the next one to come you way up. As right now, the next, next game in battle will be the number one to take the rematch of the Hurricanes and the Islanders. Now they're a tougher team that they really have a call because now they're tied the series up. We have to find out who will take the lead in the series. Well, it's very obviously on the run because they were really trying to keep it going. And remember the last game? Because right now the Devils already lost and New York Rangers have a win. They just really couldn't believe it that, that Patrick Kane just really got a great win in this game. Or Terrence Senko. Or it could have been somebody else because they were on a terrific roll this season. They moved on in the second round and now they'll have to wait for the next team to move on. Here's Kreji, and now Pasternak has it right outside, and Kreji leaves off to Forbit. McAvoy towards outside, leaves off the carry of the foot. And we are waiting for another team, as speaking of this one here, we also have another one here. This will be the Avalanche to face off against the winning team in the Central Division. They will have to be in between the range of the players, Wilds or Jets. Now with McAvoy's on the play of this better hand, he has an all-encounter raising of this game. His racing up his score is called him stick him up. He really had that one a lot of it to take over from the range of the offside of the call. Because when you call for stick him up, you call it for a stick it up for, for making the uh, for the stick lift. That's what the defensemen do, they just get on and just do it again. Next one will be counting in here to try to take it over. I'll be keeping an eye on the next one for McAvoy. Back to you guys. Near in the late going of this period, it is a 2-0 lead for Boston Bruins. Now here's Latang. Shot stopped by Linus Olmark. Forward, right toward the wing. Firing it around the board. Latang's got it now, right toward a cross into the Bruins. To Bruins territory. Latang. Around the man. Forward takes it away. Bastianox has it right across, back to the offense zone, across the line it goes to Zacha. Zacha regroups the puck. Kreji regroups the puck. Now swings to McAvoy, over to Orlov. Trying to make a move out of it, and boom, it goes down again. O'Connor receiving it up, Archibald around in. Great stop by Arlenis Olmar. What a stop, oh he does it again. I just noticed, Linus Olmark was going right toward him. I have to say this, this is a very good game. I like that when Linus Olmark was a, was, with a leg extension wide, he was, boom, he was like strong out there, keep it going. 
is Bonino. Scores! And they are on the run. It's a 2-1 game. They're looking for a tie run of the series. I just noticed that Nick, whenever Nick Bonino was really trying to leave it off, the gap seems impossible. But I don't say he was really like into this game. He could have just had another way to try to rebound the puck. They were really on a hard string out there. They really done it a lot much better than playing for the last game. That's a very hard one to try to maintain its run. And that goal should have been had that one in there, and that was a clearer deep out of the run to take it over. Here's Hayden with 5.30 left to go. It is a 2-1 game. Grand line shot stopped by Olmore. The Brusque will carry outside towards the end of the run. Takes a big hit. Battling with a loose puck. Recovers by Coyle. Coyle swings to Carlo. Now swings over to Lindholm. Back up again to Carlo. Carlo on a shot. And it goes up and out of play. That will be up in the netting. Ready to face off to keep it over. Now the wing comes in. Here's Pedersen on the outside. Now finds Carter. Carter racing towards the puck in the offense zone. And Coyle has the puck to take it away. Frederick has one. Passes to Coyle. One time stopped by Jory. Oh, that's a roughing. Yep, it is. You know that was a very hard one because that was a roughing call. You know that Tyler Bertersi was very into that. But now they've got him. That was a toughness of the game. And now they're calling for an elbowing. This has never happened before in the postseason and the second season of the NHL. Yeah, you could see what his elbow was up there. He was trying to pull him out, whip him from the head. Right now with another player this inbounding as Grits that now has one with a snipe shot. With the power play and goal, it will be a tough one to try to reach race towards the outside of the range. He will try to give it a good shot, and you will know he will take it from here. I'll be watching here for good touch now to put it in the power play possession of the game. Back to you guys. Here's Malkin. Malkin will carry over to Crosby, now finds Rocco. Rocco right towards the wing, in the center of the ice. Top shot, stop made by Omar. Frederick will carry the puck out of here. Now he has it behind the net. Latang right towards the way to Crosby. Three minutes to play in the second period. And Raquel, and it goes to fletch it up again on the goaltender. Frederick receiving another one. Four for shorthanded. Rebound, scores! It's the shorthanded goal for Hathaway. They've got one, they've got an answer. Oh, you say, Gordon Hathaway was really into the rebounding. You all go for it's me. What a play in Mountie here for Hathaway. And that play was a, a shockable run. That's what they do. They get him out of here. Well, just like the last game, you know it for sure. They got a great handle to try to stop the run. What a short-handed goal for the Bruins. Here's Petri up in the way. Finds Marchand. Forbot takes it over and fires the puck around the net. He is moving fast. Marchand. Pass broken up. 15 seconds for the power play for the, for the Penguins. Returns is ready to go. The power play advantage is over. And they got a short-handed goal for the Bruins. They are up and maintained to make it snappy to do it again. Yeah, you say this was a very hard one. And tough one to be honest. They really are saying that McAvoy and the team are just really can't believe it that they wanted to move on. I think the Bruins are the best stars in the game. They are the best in the Eastern Conference. Bergeron lost the puck and Bertuzzi has it out. Now finds over McAvoy, now swings to Olav. Olav lost the puck. Now it's one minute left to play in the second period and we are coming down fast. Bertuzzi right towards the outside. In the wing and it's blocked out. Fouling with a loose puck is Carlo. Bergeron. Back and shot, deflection is off. Pittsburgh, right towards the Bruins' territory. Making a move in front. Carter inside, and it's stopped made by Omar. 
Orlov will take it back the other way. Bertruzzi has one. Fires the puck. And Satcha fires. Oh, we're going to make the buzz beater, but that is the end of the second period. So now it is a short-handed goal. They extend 3-1. Fourth and game is almost about to be it. Time for the third period. Be right back after this. This is where it comes down to the final period in game number five. Well, we hope you enjoyed watching the game, and this was an excellent matchup to face along against from the independent section of Pittsburgh and the Massachusetts of the Boston round. This part of the game was turning out terrific. How does it turn out with the total statistics, right, my friend? Well, they say this. They're really a tough one to try to take the team out of there. We really enjoyed it. But one thing I have to tell you, there are tough teams to take an involvement. You know the saying? Because this was an ultimate love, the goal. Game successful. They really have done it one of the bestest, and because everyone really likes it, they really enjoyed it. But for me, honestly, I can definitely say this was a toughest and great game. It happens. Marchand swings over to Bergeron. Now over to McAvoy. Swing it over to Cross over to Marchand. McAvoy swings it across. Depressed towards the back. From offense, Latang takes it over. Kuchetsel has the puck now in control. Taking the puck over here in a wing. Now swings up across. McAvoy has the puck. The bus swings it up here for the offensive zone. Move the skate. In the front. Stop again by Jari. A better move of this offense is very to play up a risky section. But not to say what they can go for. All that does happen is a one way to make it a one one save. Zacho with a rebound after a save beat by Jari. Now the puck clears and goes behind the net. Now reach over to Zacha. Zacha trying to swing it across towards the offensive zone. Now DeBrusk has one. Trying to watch it for the offensive zone and Zacha has one. Now Carlo has it. Swing it across to DeBrusk. Kicks the puck to Zacha. Zacha on a shot. Takes a stop made by Jory. And Jory knows that. With all that save that happens, it just really comes up that strong. That had stopped me by Omar. Boston Bruins on the attack now, swinging the puck over again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi right back over to Russ and Zucker, back the pass broken up. Looking towards the range, Omar stopped great save here, as right now it puts up a puck right towards the glove. This offense is keeping it right along the corner. With the coach's feedback, however, they were really putting up a lot of the pressure in the south. The wing is terrific, but the center is not. They really need to give this one a lover uh, worthy credit to give a, another one to go again. They've done a really good job out there. I mean, keep it up the great work. They're doing it one time to another. Ross towards the puck in the end. Taking a poke check away. Forward as it recovered. Further with getting knocked down a bit. And now to move back towards the mullet. And Greer's got the puck now, bring it over to Frederick. He fires across the Doze. To middle, Greer! Shot! Stop again by Jari. Trying to make it across the Doze. Greer tries to hold on towards the offense zone into the Doze. Now swings across here to Frederick. Up to Greer! Double time stop made by Jari. And Jari really be able to see that one. That's a hard one to maintain pressure. Russ has one. Shot tips chopped up wide. Malkin to Zucker. In the middle, stop made by Omar. What a big save. And now Frederick. Malkin will try to clear the puck out of his own. Pedersen right over to Malkin. Malkin to Zucker. Shot stopped by Omar. Now Carl has it all swinging up across here, and Greer has it along the puck along the way. Halfway, will receive it over to Greer. Greer trying to swing it over across here to the back. Trying to give it over to Krejci. Finds halfway, backhand shot, stop made by Jury. Jory to Krejci. Krejci swing it over across to Carlo. Trying to move it across. Gives it up again to Greer. Shot, scores! Two goals in the game in the playoffs. 
they can hear you rumble down because you know this was a harder to say Bruins we do the best. Pretty good move there for Greer. And AJ has it around here right from Jerry. That was a hard making setup. The strain, the stronger, he has it all. Extension coming in towards for the Bruins to make it snappy. Four and one is your score in the third period. Now back the other way is Kulikov. Now Wayne has the puck now in the offense zone. Makes it to Gremlin. Shot went tipped wide. Crazy swings across towards the wing of the wall. Now he has it right alone. Over to Forbit. And Carter takes it away. On a fast break. Home check to good stop here by Forbit. Crazy rolling towards the offense zone into the Penguins territory. Ashenach swings his out shot. Shot and he scores. That's 16 goals in a row. You can save this energy that the fella does it the best. Hamal Sacha with a Sacha wow moment. Kachow! That's right in it! That's when you know that but the play is coming right from deep. They all give a good credit. Hey Bill Sacha, what a play for this offensive run to take over from the offense side. You know the Bruins are very the great team. They've never been into the playoffs that far since 2019 in the, in the Stanley Cup Finals to play against the St. Louis Blues. But thanks to them, they're coming back in and they're ready to go right towards with the head-to-head -head face smashes, right towards the offensive side, and they really wanted to do it again. While we keep eyes on here, one of the players of Zatcha and also along the edges as well. Back to you guys. Ooh, close call now. Kulikov swings over to Raquel as we pass the midway period in the third. Towards the wing, cornered up. Good stop made by Omar. McAvoy will slide the puck across here towards the game to Bergeron. Bergeron swings over to Orlov. Orlov breaks over again to Frederick. Gives an open pass to Bergeron. On the back end, stopping by Jory on the play. Friedman right to Jutet Cell. Raquel right towards the offense zone. In the left wing. Trying to make a pass to Kulikov. Kutzet Cell recovers it. And blocked the shot by Frederick. Bertuzzi right towards the offense zone. Now swinging over across again to Coyle. He gives off to McAvoy. Raquel has the puck taken away. Tire will in the zone. Raquel in the zone. In the lane to Latang. Kulikov! Bertuzzi blocked the shot! That shuts them down here on offense. They really are showing it a lot of ways to get things done. I seems the call with 7.03 to go in the third period. If you're working for a next game, this next matchup, and we are about to be seeing, is the number matching to take on over. As we're about to be doing the number Western Conference game, we've got another one to try to go with a couple games in the game of the Oilers and the Kings at Crypto.com Arena. That will be the next game happening here coming up later tonight. And stick it up here for tomorrow as we will see another game to kick it over for Mejia. And a lane on the other side of it can be a little bit difficult to maintain the way. This wins another matchup. And you know the Jets are back home to face against the Wilds in Canada's, Canada's life century. That's the next one stop in for, for Winnipeg. Oh, great stop here by Jory. So if you keep tuning in with a one of the games, you will be seeing another one. But the next game that's coming up will be the Islanders and Hurricanes. That will be back in game number five. Here's Clifton towards the other way, so keep your eyes too. Right now for the Kings and Oilers later tonight. And the next game coming up will be the Islanders and the Hurricanes. That will be coming up after this game. Here's Zatra across the way. Now swings it over to Forward. Forward over to Clifton. He fires it to Coyle. Coyle with the backhand. And hold the puck here with Jory. 429 left to go in the third period. It is a 5-1. What a game.
Now they're ready to take the offense zone in a stride. Brews is one of the best teams in the Atlantic Division and they've made it to clutch the playoff bounding in the game for the clinch uh, points. They have already made over 100 points. They are a tough team to do it. Yeah, and they have so much to say about them because the Boston Bruins are very one of the best teams in the Atlantic Coast Division. They're saying that if this would have been another game that they, they should do, they want to get the number rematch. I think we're about to see the Bolts and the Bruins. I think that's my next prediction. Mm-hmm. Are you sure this is going to be your next favorite opinion? Yeah, I hope so. I really want to see what they can do. Look, I'm going to battle. A little matchup in between. Here's Kerr. Oh, could it go with the goal, but it's Carlo taking it away. Puck goes out of the zone. Marchand has it across right towards the weight. Take a move around it, gets stumbled, but Lindholm has it recovered. And a penalty call in for a bust for a Boston power play. And Pittsburgh got another slashing call. This is on Zucker. Well, that's it, because now you know they don't have it enough anymore. Now he's out, because you're going to be in a penalty box for a while. Now with the call of this answer, we have a winner here as fan will be standing by. David Pasternak is really one of the better players here in the offense here for the Bruins to take over for after the regular season completion. He got it all down with one of the better players here to call for a snipe. This shot of a range is a very tough one to try to take it from here on the other angle. He's very the best, sir, guys. We'll keep it here and tight. As you know, Bergeron is one of the better players in the team. I'll try to see if the next power play can go in here again. Back to you guys. Here's the brusque. Under two minutes left to go in the, in the third period. Marchand will swing to Lindholm. And the brusque will have one. Move around the man. Carter will take it over. Try to take it over to Petri. And Demola will have it over to Archibald. Now gives it off to Petri. Try to take it away. 40 seconds on the power play, and Bergeron's in the corner. Gives off to Pasternak. Petri take the stop. And just one minute left to play in the third period. The Bruins are going to the next round. They face against the winning opponent team of the Hurricanes and, I'm sorry, the Bolts and the Leafs. That's why I'm just always kept forgetting about that one here. Sorry about that. Oh, no worries. Happens most of the time here, you know. And he's almost ready to come out. Latay, what a play by Omar. Wow. That was a big stop. There's a lot of great moments out there because you know that the power play was listing it. I think they would say, just forget about it. Maybe they wanted to just do it here for fun because everybody was all around him. And McAvoy will try to clear the puck. Time, timing down. The Bruins are going to the second round in the playoffs. And that is it. Bruins shut them down on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Five and one is your final score. What a game. Born to be wild. The Bruins are coming back in the second round. What a great night. And we all know Blades of the Bear Bruins, we all salute fans. This has been a one tremendous night there on Mifon. We love the game and we love hockey. Well, as you're being said right now, Mifon along with Life Ring and Fan, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Now, it's time to send you over to Son of Beast for three star players of the game. Good night here in Boston. See you in the second round. Mifong, thank you so much. The Bruins are moving on to the second round to face against the winning team. We have two in the Eastern Conference moving on, and there's only two more teams left to play in the Eastern Conference in the first round. Let's have a look at the three star players of the game, starting with David Krejci. He only had three assists and a hit. The second star goes to Jake DeBrusque with two goals and a hit. All you say now is what they are looking for. Slap it, boom it, gone. That's the brusque with the goal. 
And your first star is Linus Allmark. He is a crusher. And you could tell that you, if you all voted for Linus Allmark to go for the goaltender of the year, you should put a vote on him that he is unstoppable. Well, as I'm being said, as total, total statistics are on the board, one shorthanded goals for the Boston Bruins. And no power play goals in between Pittsburgh and Boston. Right now, the power play minutes was only two minutes for the Pittsburgh and four minutes for Boston. And these are the penalty kills as also. 26 faceoff wins here for Pittsburgh. Got very a lot of a higher decade right now. And five faceoff wins for the Boston Bruins. 93% for the Pittsburgh and 78% for the Boston. Could have tried to pick up higher in the rating, but all right. We'll give that one a fair credit. 17 hits, Pittsburgh, and 5 hits for Boston. And total shots on goal was 44 for Boston and 38 for Pittsburgh. Well, as we're being said right now, if you're tuning to the Islanders and the Hurricanes, they're back. We got you more covered coming up in just a few minutes. He saw everyone for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. Have a great night in the in a huge chain of the Boston Bruins of the Territory City and Pittsburgh of Steel City until next season. But we're not done yet because we still got more. We'll keep you up ahead as soon as we can. Bye-bye <laughs> everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.